ਵਿੱਚ ਪਰ ਪੈਸਾ ਨਾਲ ਮਸ਼ੀਨਾ ਸੋਚਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੜਕੇ ਸੀਨਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਰ ਪੈਸਾ ਨਾਲ ਮਸ਼ੀਨਾ ਸੋਚਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੜਕੇ ਸੀਨਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਰ ਪੈਸਾ ਨਾਲ ਮਸ਼ੀਨਾ ਸੋਚਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੜਕੇ ਸੀਨਾ ਬਚਪਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਬੀਤੇ ਉਹ ਦਿਨ ਬਚਪਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਬੀਤੇ ਉਹ ਦਿਨ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਮੋੜ ਲਿਆਵਾਂ get to that uh, why the immigrants were allowed from any country in the world really was the need to have more workers because after the second world war uh, this country didn't have that many young people and uh, the country was progressing the factories were opening and there was a need also it was not charitable it was a need most of them in the beginning till i should say 1963 were from the rural areas of the Punjab naturally these were not rich peasants but just before or immediately after the commonwealth immigration control act of 1962 then some people who were educated people from the towns and cities as well as the retired soldiers I mean they started coming in I came to airport actually they took me to the Victoria station and uh, I had only 5 pound currency and uh, when I showed two addresses to the driver and he said uh, sorry let us talk to the taxi driver we went to the taxi driver he said sonny sorry you can't go to uh, glasgow uh, it's not enough but I can take you to the south hall being a poet myself being a writer myself uh the affiliation i had with england was with shakespeare uh, with wordsworth with shelley and all these writers and everything you know uh, daffodils skylark but when i came here i couldn't i couldn't see any skylark here first of all the single males came here after 4 5 years they started thinking to bring their families here so my meeting with my, my father was when I was coming down an escalator at Heathrow Airport and my mother said pointing out to a gentleman that man over there is your father and that's when I first met him some of the people who had come in 1951 52 53 they had already bought houses in south hall so we were lucky we were able to get some accommodation and because as we were single people so sometimes means for about two we- first two weeks i shared a bed with a friend of mine means he he used to work in the night shift i used to go for for day shift makana di mushkilat bahut si te us vele ta eh vi si ka ke kai kai gharan vich 10 15 15 bande apne rehnde si gi lekin aapas vich hi ohna da prem bhavna badi si gi itho tak si pe jehda nawa banda aunda si ਜਿੰਨਾ ਚੱਕਰ ਉਹ ਕੰਮ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਵੇ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਰਾਸ਼ਨ ਪਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਦੀ ਰਹਿਸ਼ ਹੈ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਫਰੀ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਤੇ ਜਿੱਦ ਦਿਨ ਕੰਮ ਤੇ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਣਾ ਫੇ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਭਾਈ ਹੁਣ ਤੂੰ ਆਪਣਾ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੇਰ ਪਾ ਨਾ ਕਰਾਇਆ ਦੇ ਨਾ ਰਾਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਖਰਚਾ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੀ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਸਰੇ ਦੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਦਦ ਕਰਕੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਸੈਟਲ ਹੋਣ ਲਈ ਜਾਂ ਸਰਵਾਈਵ ਹੋਣ ਲਈ ਬੜਾ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਜਾ ਸਾਥ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਮੈਂ ਫਾਦਰ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਵਰਕਰ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਫੋਰ ਡਰਿੰਕ ਲਾਈਕ ਏਅਰਪੋਰਟ if he seen anybody got to know where to go he bring home two year i couldn't sleep on a bed the reason was because he bring somebody in and he have to sleep on a bed we have a mattress under the bed we pull the mattress all night and sleep on that one they had up to 18 people living in one house um, because they were helping each other and the bed was always warm nine people were in the morning shift nine people with night shift um and when one person was dedicated to cook for that a week um so they live as a communal like okay? if you are uh, uh, going on the housing register or you wanted to be on the housing register uh, you have to be living in the borough for certain period of time which i if i vaguely remember it was about 7 years so it was in a way of keeping 
the new arrivals away from the housing uh, register. And that's why the overcrowding in the Indian houses or the Asian houses were uh, due to that. The other thing, uh, the people who were already living here, most of them were not very highly educated, but they used to tell us the manners you got to keep, the etiquettes you got to keep. If you're boarding the bus, you got to stand in the queue, you got to let the ladies in first, and uh, you should be well dressed, you must not go out in pajamas. Even in the garden, uh, they were saying it is a bad manner, you know? So uh, my first memory is, of course, that I used to have long hair, uh, and I used to uh, you know, it was a good Sikh boy with long hair. Uh, I came in on 19th of November, and the, I remember on 20th of November, my uh, father cut my hair off, uh, saying this would help me to integrate better. Semi-fascist organizations were formed here, like the South Hall Residents Association. It was not a South Hall Residents Association, it was the association of South Hall's white residents. And even John Beans or others who were fascist and belonged to British National Party in those days, used to organize street meetings and public meetings against immigrants coming into the town. Racism, plenty of racism, because they're really south, well, the centre of Southall would be mostly Asian, so there was no problem there. But you could just go on the outskirts of it and you would be abused. I mean, some of our people experienced even violence so naturally, you, you sometimes avoided those places where, where you didn't know what sort of reception you were going to get. We used to have uh, these pubs in South Hall. Some are still here, I wouldn't name them. Uh, they will not serve you the beer. Sometimes they'll say, just get out, because at that time there was no uh, anti-discrimination law. But uh, the others will let you in, but you got to wait for your turn after he served the local people, even though they have come after me. This, it was that kind of situation. That was a shock to me. The whole environmental situation in this country was different from where they came from, you know, from the villages as peasants, self-supporting communities, and now had to work as workers in the industries. Working conditions, you know, the thing is that uh, we we came into a situation uh, where the factories had become very old and the machinery was old, the working methods were old, uh, in many cases crude. And um, so working conditions were that much tough and hard. That's why actually we were called here, means, means the immigration happened because of the bad working conditions, bad factories and we were able to give them life for another 20, 25 years. Everybody came to England, came to South Hall. He got a job in a bakery and a Western Bakery and Arwolf. These are the two factories. After that, uh, there was a Coca-Cola factory, lions and steel and foundries and the people start establishing and then they got a job outside. Um, we used to go with tie and suit to find work in the factories. So naturally, when they saw our face, they'll say, no job. <laughs> so I roamed the streets of Hayes, South Hall, Hanslow, for about first 10 days. Work 10 days means about two weeks. Couldn't find any job. But then my friend had some connection with the local rubber factory. And um, he got me a job there. At that time, difficult for Sikh to get a job because they don't give a job with the turban people. Even believe me, you know, in my house, if anybody comes sick from India, I have to cut their hair. Because the barbara don't cut a long hair. You have to make it short before you go to the barber. You know? So to get a job. Um, and I discovered I was part of a, a three, an elite group of three white English forklift drivers on the princely sum of 90 pence an hour, whereas all the other workers there were Asians on, on this 80 pence an hour. And that was pretty common, that sort of thing. So the sort of discrimination was fairly institutional in those days and nobody batted an eyelid at it. 
So it's not surprising that in due course, uh, the time came when they wanted to stand up for themselves. <laughs> Indian Workers Association in this country were first formed in the late 30s, but the South Hall branch was formed in 1957. Major role was the IWA. We were four or five people. Ajit Siddhu da Karsi. Te Ote Ajit Siddhu me e Rupra te Desh Fanje e Kedda Horsi. Asi kya pe Sanu Mazdur Sama Banaji Chari. Fer asi parti shuru ki ti. Pelli election saw member baniya. Dosh Ligda member. दो दो दिन लग दे थी कन्वेंस करनु सारे बंदे आदि बैकग्राउंड ए जैसे बंदी थी है नहीं थी तो मेंबर नहीं थी बंदे दो श्रेणी का मेंबर बनने के दो तीन दिन और उनको कन्वेंस करना तां जा के बनना कुछ बंदे आन 1956 जेनिंग स्टेबलिश की था जी हॉली हॉली लोग का दिया लोडा बात दिया गया ना लोग का न पार से के ते ओसले आईडब्ल्यूएन मेजर रोल की तालोक का नहीं हेल्प लाई हर एक फील्ड दे बच जॉब बाहुन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन हो गए होर भी बहुत सारे काम जिधा कहलो वर्जिन्टी टेस्ट होया वो दे खिलाफ उन्होंने बंद कराया फिर इनकम टैक्स आप ले बंद जान कई चूठे क्लेम की थे सी, उन्हानु फाइन या जेल कर दे सी, वो टैक्स आला ना राड़ के उन्हाँ दे फैसले कराए। The IWA was a close community's own organization. It was like a family. There were no temples at all. No other community organization or group existed. It was Indian Workers Association only, which actually looked after the interest of the colored people. When I joined IWA, IWA sort of progressed in a, in, a, in a way that we could give initial help, like it was Citizens Advisory, Advisory Bureau, it was um, any, any problems with the, with the education of the children, any problems with the, with the calling of dependents, all these things. Indian Workers Association used to have uh, two permanent uh, employees. Um, the designation was welfare officer and lady welfare officer. Where dad, uh, men used to come and talk to him, women used to come and talk to my mum. I can remember being tiny, going with her to various factories where she was. She was always, as I mentioned, she was educated, so she would complete the forms and get women's jobs. And I remember her, um, t beginning to teach her an English class in Featherston where um, Featherston Road where IWA was first based. <laughs> हिंदुस्तानी मजदूरों में इस देश की ट्रेड यूनियन तहरीक में मदगम होने या ट्रेड यूनियन के उसमें शामिल होने की सोच अभी तक उनके ज़हन में दाखल नहीं हुई थी और और मैं मैं समझता हूँ कि हमारे सामने जो बहुत बड़ा मतलब था जिसको हम किसी हद तक हासिल करने में कामयाब हुए हैं और आज आज के हालात ये हैं कि तकरीबन कोई ही फैक्ट्री ऐसी होगी जिसमें ट्रेड यूनियंस मुख्तलिफ किस्म की जो ट्रेड यूनियंस इस देश में हैं हमारे मजदूर उसके मेंबर ना हों। Everybody faced racism. Early days, you were not considered for positions, you were not considered for good job opportunities. First discrimination case one by an underground. Somebody was uh, working with underground because he he, he been sacked because he wearing turban, and uh, he fight and I W help him to win the case. He won the case, and he is uh, he come in uh, you know national news. 
then we used to encourage people to join respective trade union wherever they are working yeah. and we used to liaise with the trade union side so that the people get integrated into that and secondly resolve their problems within the uh, factories where they are working we will call some uh, trade union officer to uh, lecture a small group of indian workers to tell them what the rights are what the unions do and all that kind of thing, so that the people become thoroughly aware why it is essential to become a member of a particular trade union the indian workers association forced the trade union movement to respond to their needs by entering as shop stewards if when you join the union two things happen a your own rights are protected b you meet other people you meet other communities you know uh, 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 and uh, you, it is easier for you to talk to them the first company who started recruiting punjabis was our wolf rubber factory when i came in 1957 there were about 800 indian punjabis work was very heavy on night shifts and uh, very smelly sort of you know the burning rubber and all that very smelly sort of job so because of the appalling working conditions inside the factory and very low wages people thought that we must form a union but uh, the management naturally resisted they put a very strict condition not uh, raising uh, wages and all the you know they like getting a work like a, a slave and uh, people thought you know no not now few year ago yes you can do that one but not now we know what is happening here uh, and they played a major part indian workers association and sri guru singh sabha and other individuals who have contributed by by helping those people who were on strike on the picket line uh, so that their families or they don't starve and they will be looked after everybody supported it and the landlords they didn't uh, charge them the rent the shopkeepers they they gave credit to the uh, those people who couldn't afford uh, 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 the grocery bills and all that our father had already told people that you don't need to worry if you don't get paid I'll look after you food wise and done that for must be under 200 people over that and for 6 weeks just gave them food supplies and left it at that and when you see it, even to this day I still see people and they say Elderly people, we remember Pritam Singh Sangha Pai. They used to call him Pai. How he gave us food and looked after us. And any time we offered to pay him, he said no. IWU election used to be full of excitement. can you just imagine we used to have polling stations polling so many polling stations in south hall hanslo yeah. 17000 membership that's a record that's a record it in work as association had membership and members going to polls to elect an executive committee of 21 members and there were about five groups standing we had the a meter long <laughs> uh, ballot paper P- there are so many kind of people that every vote is got a different symbol lion tank hand whatever good uh, machine i don't know but this group actually brought a tank on a lorry on the and this they prayed this their symbol which was a tank along the broadway it was incredible thousands of people came in on coaches it was like a national election oh there was a, like a like a india election indian uh, you know indian parliament election because they fighting like anything and they can make a cartoon of each other in a paper believe me that i think you might have some cartoon that was a very very funny car, you know and there was a two group especially you know stand in election they fight like anything you know you can and holding a 
public meeting and go door to door. One group come, then other other party group come, they go door to door, you know, campaign in the election. It was like a 